come on. Let's have a proper round of applause for Danny! Guys, I'm sorry, sorry. Um, before we start, um, I have been asked to make a quick announcement. Um, has anyone got uh, a BMW out in the car park? So, Sharon, did you have the registration? No, no, sorry, I've not got the registration. Could you, could you raise your hand, sorry, if you've got a BM out in the car park? Danny? <laughs> see? You can fucking signal. <laughs> Come on, we haven't gone all night. The only thing worse, to be honest, the only thing that pisses me off more than people who don't indicate when they're driving is people who use their phones in the cinema. You know? You sat there watching a film, then every couple of minutes, some absolute twat, a couple of heroes in front of you, gets their phone out and starts using it. Now, you all look like considerate people. <laughs> You all look like you've turned your phones off before this evening began. But call me thorough, I'm going to have to check. I know you're thinking, you're thinking, what's he going to do? Is he going to go through everybody's phones one by one and check that all turned off? No, no, I'm not going to do that. No, 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 no. I'm going to do what they should do in the cinema. Rather than play some pissy message about no glowing screens and no talking, they should do this. Hey Siri, <laughs> call mum. <laughs> okay Google, send a text to Dave. I love you, send. <laughs> hey Cortana, search the web for pornography. <laughs> Right, well, while they turn their phones off and apologise to their mothers, we'll get on with the show, shall we? When, when I agreed to do this stand-up comedy challenge, uh, the wife who sat front row, the wife... That's a stupid place to sit. The wife said to me, whatever you do, don't say anything embarrassing. So I was in the shower this morning, giving my gentleman area a good soaping. With my imperial leather phone burst. This, with middle class in our house. When I glanced down at the bottle, and on the back of the bottle, in big white letters on a red background, were the words, extremely flammable. <laughs> now, I don't know about you, but when I'm massaging something into my bollocks, <laughs> the two words I do not like to see associated with said thing are flammable, preceded by the word extremely. <laughs> to be honest with you, any sort of flammable is something I try to avoid putting on my love spuds, but... <laughs> extremely flammable is a definite no-no. No word of a lie, it genuinely says on the back of the bottle, this foam is extremely flammable, keep away from naked flames. <laughs> naked flames. If you're putting extremely flammable substances onto my shower gel, I am going to want to keep it away from naked gonads, never mind naked flames. If I, you, if I walked up to you in the street, and I said, you're alright mate, how are you doing? Rub this into your nutsack. It's extremely flammable. I'm trying to raise up my memory. Like, like petrol. Yeah. You'd probably think twice about it, wouldn't you? Yeah. I mean... What are their TV adverts like? Are you still using a mildly flammable shower gel? <laughs> Try this new extremely flammable foam burst. If you're planning on incinerating your testicles, it's guaranteed to get the job done. All to the jingle of, goodness gracious, great balls of fire! Right, I can't actually stay on too long because I have got to be up at 5am tomorrow morning for a business networking event. Haven't I, Paul? I have. Um, I do love a networking event. I do. I also love cars. So imagine my excitement, little excitement, when I discovered there was a networking event for car lovers. 
a motoring enthusiasts networking event. I'm not surprised you haven't heard of it. It's extremely secretive, like Hogwarts. <laughs> you have to receive a written invitation through the post. It's so prestigious. Each meeting costs 85 pounds. <laughs> it's so exclusive. You're only allowed to go to one meeting every three years. So I got my written invitation through the post from the secret organisation that runs it, Dovla. <laughs> and it said, you have been cordially invited to a motoring enthusiast networking event. I'm paraphrasing slightly. And when I got there, the room was already full of other motoring enthusiasts. They must have really shifted to get there before me because I put my foot down, let me tell you. And we were greeted by what I can only describe as a motoring wizard. And he taught us tricks. Tricks like how to avoid running over children. You BMW drivers won't know anything about those. And tricks like how to avoid getting speeding tickets. The secret is, drive slower. <laughs> I can see actually from the reactions that there's some of my other motoring enthusiast networking group members in the room. And many of you are sat next to muggles who have no idea what I'm talking about. They're looking at you like, what the fuck are you laughing at? This prick hasn't said anything funny, huh? Don't worry my motoring enthusiast brothers and sisters. Your secret is safe with me. I won't say a word about your speed awareness course. <laughs> since, my, uh, speed, since my motoring enthusiasts networking group, I've actually been doing a lot more walking. <laughs> it's totally coincidental, I assure you. I've been doing a lot more walking. And I've got one of these, uh, an Apple Watch, which tracks my steps. I got it through my health insurance and it gives me rewards for the more active that I am. Sounds great, doesn't it? Mm, it's not. It's shit. <laughs> you see, in order to qualify for the rewards, I have to do a minimum of 7,000 steps every day. And this means I've started walking to work, which is great for my health and great for the environment. But the problem is, my office is fewer than 2,000 steps away from where I live. So when I walk to work, and I walk home again. I've barely done 4,000 steps. I'm still 3,000 steps shy of my daily target. So we get this ridiculous situation where I'm walking home, and I see my house, and I stop. And I don't go in my house, I look at my watch. <laughs> Bollocks. <laughs> and then I look at my house, and I look at my watch, and I look at my house, and I look at my watch, and I turn around and fuck off in the opposite direction. I am aimlessly wandering around Ells Ellesmere Port because this little bastard tells me to do it. I feel like one of those African women on a comic relief fundraising video. Darren has to walk nine kilometers every day. Just to earn a free cinema ticket and a Starbucks. Darren makes this walk in all weathers. Just unless it's, unless it's raining. Just or unless it's too cold. Just or unless it's too hot. Just or unless there's something good on the telly. Just one pound pledged by you will allow Darren to buy his own skinny latte. But the little bastard doesn't leave it there either. It bugs me throughout the day when I'm in work. I'm sat at my desk, typing away, like this. And then I get a little vibration on my wrist. Bzzz. Stand up. Bzzz. Well done. The fucking exclamation mark. Sarcastic little prick. And when I'm walking a little bit faster than normal, it looks like you're having a workout. <laughs> Who 
course you like to record an outdoor walk. No, piss off. It never asks me anything I actually want it to do, does it? Pssst. It looks like you're having a wank. <laughs> Would you like me to start vibrating on your wrist? Well, that couldn't hurt, could it? It looks like you're drinking a pint. Would you like me to clear your afternoon schedule for a heavy session? <laughs> yes, I would. Bzz. It looks like you're having sex. Would you like me to start a time? No, actually, don't do this. <laughs> the, the reason I've been... Oh, applause, thank you. <laughs> you can come again. Um, the reason I've been... Trying to lose a bit of weight lately, thank you madam, it is working. It's because I'm going on holiday on Saturday. To Portugal. Which means going on a plane. Fucking hate planes. You see, the thing that really pisses me off about planes is the other passengers. Especially, especially when the plane lands and the seatbelt light goes out and the door's about to open, and then everybody who can physically fit in the aisle gets in the aisle. Not to get their stuff ready to leave. No, 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 no. They do it to fuck everyone else off. They're messing with their phones. They're checking in on Facebook. They're checking Instagram. They're, yeah, they're using Snapchat. They're using WhatsApp. They're texting their mothers. They're checking the weather. They get those little bags of peanuts and stuff them into their holders to take them away with them. They're doing everything but getting their stuff ready to get off the plane. So when the door eventually opens, I still have to wait for these monumental wipe spanners to get their shit together. But it's okay, I have a plan. I have a plan. It's called Darren's three-step plan to getting off the plane quicker. Would you like to hear it? I'm glad you said that, because you'd have really pissed up my ending. Right, Darren's three-step plan for getting off the plane quicker. <clears throat> Step one, stand up. I know what you're thinking. Doesn't sound like much of a plan. To be honest with you, Daz, it's pretty fucking unimpressive at this stage. It gets better, don't worry. Step one, stand up. Step two, grab your shit. Don't piss about with Facebook, don't mess about with your phone, don't use Instagram, don't use Snapchat, don't check in on whatever app you might be using, don't text your mother, don't look at the weather, stop stuffing those bags of peanuts into your hold hole, grab your shit. Are you ready for step three? This is where the plan really comes together. Right, the door's about to open. Step one, stand up. Step two, grab your shit. Step three, fuck off. I know. It's genius. <laughs> I'm going to go through that plan once more, and then you're all going to repeat it with me. Because, yeah you are. Because I want you to learn this plan, and I want you to take it out there, and I want you to teach other people so that we can all get off the planes quicker in future. Right, are you ready? I'm going to do it once more, then you're all going to do it. I know what you're thinking. There's, there's a couple of youngsters in the audience they're looking at their parents now going are we are we allowed to say this <laughs> kids don't worry I had a word with all of your parents before this began and they've agreed it's okay for you to swear right so I'm going to once more then you're all going to follow okay so it's step one stand up Step two, grab your shit. Step three, fuck off. Right. It's your turn. Step one. Step two. Grab your shit. Step three. Fuck off.